Whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh. Oh, oh, hey, hey guys. I was just killing some time until you guys showed up. Well, today I got something kind of fun for you guys. Debating whether these are going to be good or not, but I got something fun nonetheless. It is spooky season. We're in full swing of spooky season. Well, the last two spooky seasons I did a taste test. I did Count Chocula two years ago. I did the other monster cereals last year while I didn't find Carmella Creeper. And I don't want to try that to be quite honest with you. But I did find the Haunted Apple flavor, Fanta Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. It's got Beetlejuice's face on there. And I know this is not on the thumbnail, but that's because I want to promote more of the Beetlejuice drink. But I also found this mystery flavor, Mountain Dew Voodoo, and it's got a spooky label on it. So I figure it's got a spooky label on it. Might as well do it for spooky season. I'm not gonna drink these from one shot glass, so I brought Specific individual shot glasses. I'll be drinking out of my Beetlejuice and my trick-or-treat shot glass Nothing to eat today. Just very thirsty very parched and I feel like it's time to quench my thirst So let's get into a spooky edition of All right, all right, so Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, the movie that came out in theaters this year. I absolutely love the original movie from the 1980s, and I am a massive fan of the animated series. If you go back on my channel, you can see that I did an uh, unboxing review of the complete series that was released by Shout Factory. However, I've been hearing some mixed things about this Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice Fanta drink. Um, I'm, it's called Haunted Apple, and I heard somebody explain it to me that it tastes like apple mixed with maple syrup. I'm not sure how well that's going to translate into drink, so I might as well try it out. Let's get to the nutrition fact before we crack this bottle open. This is a 500 milliliter bottle. This has 220 calories per bottle. So it's naturally flavored sparkling beverage. Let's see here, nutritional facts. Per one bottle, like you said, 500 milliliters, 220 calories, like I mentioned. There are zero grams of fat, uh, 59 grams of carbohydrates. Oh boy, that's 59 grams of sugar, zero grams of protein, 65 megagram, milligrams of sodium. Okay, all right. This is caffeine free. I love my caffeine, so. Um, and if you want to, you can scan that QR code and scan that QR code to summon. I don't know exactly what it's going to summon, but I don't use the QR code application. So feel free to go ahead and scan that QR code. Be my guest. Got it? Fantastic. All right. So with the nutritional value out of the way, let's get this cracked open. Wait, let, let, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Wait. Okay. It's going to give me a hard time to open up. I don't want it to come fizzing up on me. Yeah, there we go. Just need a little grip sometimes. No, that was that was anticlimactic. Okay, very anticlimactic. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. It smells like. I can't even explain how that smells. It smells very syrupy. It smells like a syrup almost. Mind you, this didn't cost me very much money. This was only like a dollar, so I was like, I'll try it out. Yeah, it's very syrupy. It's got a very syrupy smell to it. Got my Beetlejuice shot glass. Do not say his name three times. Well, we're almost there with the title of the new movie. So let's pour in the drink. Look, 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 look. It smells very, very syrupy. I don't know what I've gotten myself into, guys. Fanta Beetlejuice Beetlejuice Haunted Apple. Hope this is tasty. Cheers.
Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Re reveling in the aftertaste of the Beetlejuice Haunted Apple. Yeah, it really does taste like apple mixed with maple syrup. Um, I, as I always do, I always get my wife to try this, so I ran off screen while in between. She pointed out something that I agree with her, and that's what I was tasting. It seems like they were trying to do a candy apple, like a caramel apple, but it just comes off tasting like maple syrup. I don't know. It, the smell is putrid. It's refreshing. Don't get me wrong. The, the aftertaste doesn't stay with you very long. But, uh, oh my gosh, that is quite the intense flavor. On a spooky scale out of 10, I'm going to give Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Fanta Haunted Apple on 10. I'm going to give this a 1.5. Oh my gosh, I have not, I didn't try the other Fanta flavors. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you, now that I've tasted this, I do not wanna try the other Fanta flavors because um, I'm worried that it's not gonna taste very nice. So 1.5 on 10. Let me, let me just go ahead and let me cleanse my palate so we can go on to the next beverage. Okay, so next up we have, and like I said, this was just a last minute thing. I was out running errands with my wife. And I saw this for a buck and I was like, this looks interesting. It's got a spooky label and it's a mystery flavor. I figured I'm still tasting the, I'm still tasting the haunted apple. I still, I, you know, there's some water, hang on. What was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, um, spooky label on here. So I figured it looks like a spooky label. I figured it'd be fun for spooky season. And it says it's a mystery flavor. I love Mountain Dew, it's my favorite soda. So let's, hopefully, hopefully this is gonna be better than the Fanta. This is a 591 milliliter uh, bottle. This is a soft drink, not a sparkling water as this one says it is. Naturally flavored sparkling beverage on the Beetlejuice. No, this is claiming to be a soda, which I prefer you telling me that. Uh, 270 calories. So, there you go, let's take a look here. Uh, there is caffeine in here, however. So the nutrition facts on here per bottle, 591 milliliters. That's right, calories 270. Uh, zero grams of fat, 73 grams of carbohydrates, 70 grams of, 73 grams of sugar, uh, zero grams of protein, 80 milligrams of uh, sodium, 10 milligrams of potassium. And it says caffeine content, uh, 90 milligrams per 591 milligrams. Okay, there is no QR code on here. Yeah, there's no QR code to summon anything for Mountain Dew. I guess we can just get right into it. Hopefully this cap doesn't give me as much of a trouble to open up as the Fanta. Nope. Ah, very satisfying, very satisfying. All right. Smelling it from afar, it doesn't smell horrible. Okay, can you smell that? It smells nice actually, very refreshing smell. I'm trying to put my nose on it. My nose is on it. I'm trying to figure out what the smell is. Okay, it smells nice though. It smells pleasant. Not like the not like the pungent smell from the Fanta. Let's grab the trick or treat shot glass. There we go. Glug 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 glug. Mountain Dew Voodoo Mystery Flavor. All right, let's cap this up. Still can't tell what the smell is. All right. Cheers. It's very nice and light and subtle. It's almost got like a ginger ale type taste to it. It's actually really nice. Like a ginger ale Sprite almost taste to it. I'm gonna try a little bit more to make sure because that actually tastes quite nice. My wife thought it was going to go to waste, right? Because it's a mystery flavor, so. Yeah, it's kind of got like a Sprite, Sprite, like ginger ale type, type quality taste to it. Highly recommend this. Yep, yeah, very citrusy taste. Like I said, almost like a Sprite ginger ale type taste to it. The Mountain Dew 2024 mystery flavor. If you can get your hands on it, go for it. Um, I'm gonna give this a 9.5 on 10. It is very good and very delicious. And uh, I can see myself drinking this whole bottle 
and I can see myself dumping this down the toilet because that's where it belongs. It's Beetlejuice. Tonight at 6.30 on Cartoon Network. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching this taste test. I guess you could technically call it yeah, a taste test in its entirety if you did. I really appreciate you guys sticking around to watching all these videos. Nothing big, nothing big for Halloween season this year. You know, just a couple of videos this year. Um, let me know about down below, however, if you've tried the Fanta Haunted Apple. Um, again, I do not recommend it, 1.5 on 10. Or if you've tried the new Mountain Dew um, Voodoo Mystery Flavor, 9.5 on 10. Or I give it a 9 on 10, whatever. Um, let me know down below if you've tried any of these two drinks. Like I said, I um, wanted to do something for spooky season. And these are only two only two spooky things that I found. I didn't want to do food this year because I did I did the monster cereals two years in a row, so I figured let's give it let's give let's give time to some spooky drinks to shine. What are your plans for Halloween? Let me know all that good stuff down below. Come on back on Thursday. I've got one last video for Halloween. We got another countdown. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But let me know what you're doing for Halloween, what you guys have planned for Halloween. I ask you this every year, I think. What you guys plan to watch for Halloween, what you guys plan to just do for Halloween in general. Get out of here for the day. I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you so much for watching the video in its entirety. If you did, I really appreciate it. If you are new, however, to my channel because you love Halloween season, you love spooky stuff, you love taste tests in general, and you want to know what these two drinks tasted like, or if you've been watching my channel for the longest time and you haven't done so already, please and thank you, subscribe to my channel. While you're there, click the bell to be notified whenever I got some brand new content out. Also guys, if you are liking my content, you're enjoying my videos, let the algorithm know, click the thumbs up button, and as well, comment down below, let's talk all things horror related, all things Halloween, and all things you guys are trying. Get out of here for the day, go have some fun, go celebrate Halloween, it's Halloween week. Thank you so much guys, stay cool, stay nerdy, keep haunting. I'll see you in the next video, and as always, it's cool if it's nerd cool. Happy Halloween.